In this tutorial, I'm going to show you four options uh, infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added one road in the background and then this is the starting point. I have added a green flag and then in order to achieve the finish, you have to finish this four step, first, second, third, fourth. And then I have added a checkered flag at the end for the finish. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to a light gray color. Go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select a rectangle, draw a rectangle from this end to this end, maybe this much size. Shape outline, make it no outline and you can give some dark color to this. This is kind of a road I'm just going to make and then I want to just put the, the divider lines in this one. For that go to insert shapes and select a rectangle again, a small rectangle, maybe this much size. Shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill, make it white. And then I'm just going to cut into small pieces. For that go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle, maybe this much size and put it here shape outline make it no outline and press ctrl d to duplicate it i'm just going to add here a little gap ctrl d you can just press ctrl d till here then i'm just going to select all these shapes go to merge shape and just say a uh, fragment and then i can just simply delete this one select and delete this you can see here I'm just deleting one by one. So once you delete this one, I'm just going to put, I'm going to select all this and give as a white color, press control G to group it and put it here in center of this road. Then I'm going to make a circle for the start and one for the finish. For that go to insert shapes select oval shape draw oval shape by holding the shift key and you can make it maybe 2.2 size and then shape outline make it no outline and the shape fill maybe i'll just select this uh, color or the white color then right mouse click go to format shape and go to effects under 3d rotation i'm just going to select maybe this isometric top up can you see this and then go to 3d format and increase the depth you can just increase the depth something like this and if you want you can just play with this one how you want you want something like this or whichever way you feel better just add this one and put it one here and press ctrl d put it one at the end now I'm going to make a flag for the start and for the finish. For that go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle small like this, maybe a little bit. Hold the alt key so that you, you can get the whatever the size you need. Shape outline, I will make it no outline and then I will just select gradient fill. Gradient fill, I'm just going to select maybe a darker color and I'm just going to select this one which is linear right and then I'm just going to select white color and here I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to select one more dark color something like this so you can see here and just put exactly in the center and if you want you can just increase the size a little bit more and then I'm just going to insert one a rectangle just to draw the flag shape outline make it no outline and whichever color you like you can just give for this flag and just send to back so you can see here the flag is ready and then i'm just going to select or let me just increase the size a little bit yes and then i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and put it here and this flag i'm going to select a white color and then I want to put a checkered flag, go to insert shape, select a rectangle, draw a small rectangle, shape outline, make it no outline, 
make it black color press ctrl d just exactly place it here ctrl d place one more here and i'm just going to select this two ctrl d and just place it here then select all of this press ctrl g to group it and hold the shift key reduce the size and just put it on this flag so you can see here you got a checkered flag here just align it properly you can see here let me add the text i'll just go to insert text box and i will just say here start and i'm just going to select a font white center align and just reduce the size and i'm just going to add one more oval shape sorry a, a rectangle and then shape outline i'm going to select white and shape fill make it no fill and just put it on top of this you can see here you can reduce the size the width and put the start in with the rectangle and then i'm just going to select press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and this is the finished one all right oh, now let's add the the steps in between this so let me add the options or the steps here so i'm just going to select this circle press ctrl d hold the shift key and reduce the size maybe this much size and just put it here and how many you want you can just put it this is one for example i want to put four two three and four you can see here or if you feel that this is not the right size or no equal space is given then you can select this uh, oval shape go to format align just say distribute horizontally so it will give you exactly this one or if you want to give some different color light color you can just give also some different color whatever color you like to use it here and then i'm just going to add one uh, icon for that go to insert icons or you can go to the nonproject.com and add it there so let me just search for that one that should be available somewhere select this one which is the location just set insert and if you want you can increase the size a little bit and just put it here now whichever color you need you can just select the color for example i want this color here and if you want any shadow effect also you can just go here select the shadow effect you can see here press ctrl d put it the other one here and change the color whichever color you can go to more fill colors and select the color you want so whatever the color for example i need some blue and i need some other color here maybe i'll just go with uh, this one so you can see here i've added four different uh, options now it's time to give the the detail text here now i'm just going to select this press ctrl d bring it here ctrl d this is the second one we'll change the text later so you can just type first and then this is second this is third and this is fourth so in order to uh, finish the task you have to complete these four activities and if you want you can give more detailed text here and again just uh, give some different font color whichever you like maybe somewhat darker and center align reduce the size and press ctrl d and just add it here so you can see here with this uh, we have finished this one and if you want to do some animation you can just add some animation to it in this tutorial i'm going to show you four options uh, infographic slide in powerpoint as you can see here i have added one road in the background and then this is the starting point i've added a green flag and then in order to achieve the finish you have to finish this four step first second third fourth 
and then I have added a checkered flag at the end for the finish. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.